Welcome to this issue of Jeep Creep. This is going to be my final pack out and gear recommendations that I am bringing myself on my trip. So sit back and relax. And uh, if you want to learn some, you know, proper gear to bring, this will be the video for you. What's in my med kit? All right. So I found these that I kind of like. Um, lead stop. It's pretty cool. That'll, you just stick it in the wound. Sterile, hypoallergenic, even for people on blood thinners. That's good. If you ever have like a bad wound that you can't stop, just stick it in and good to go. Um, one thing that you definitely want to have, wool skins. Now it sounds funny, but what is this? Um, this is for blisters. If you get them on your feet, you just cut off a small section, put it over your foot and it keeps the blister not only nice and clean, but it also makes it feel instantly better. I have personal experience with these and highly recommend them. Next up, we got some triple antibiotic ointment. Uh, it's a good to have to put it in the wound if you have a cut. And then I got some various sizes of band-aids, a few different sizes. Got a couple larger ones too, just in case you got a large wound. What else do I got? Band-aid anti septic cleaning foam or cleansing foam for kids no sting it's got aloe in it um i used to use um what is it called uh bactine or whatever but i kind of liked uh this bottle it was just cool looking so i figured i'd give that a try instead and then the last thing that i like to carry right here uh this is just ace bandage wrap this is the sticky kind and uh it's good if you uh twist your ankle or something or if you have a really bad wound this could uh double as a uh wound wrap as well you could just take one of these big band-aids and put it over the wound and you know do a makeshift uh whatever or use the bleed stop and do a makeshift whatever so that pretty much covers all of that I and mean, it all fits in this nice ultra lightweight case that's waterproof all right next up i have this little case i'm covering up my medication my prescription medication but uh, i have them all labeled here of what they are inside each one and uh you know everything you want to carry um the important ones to carry is uh, an anti-diarrheal something for allergy like benadryl uh, i like excedrin for headaches and for body pain and that's uh, the prescription strength uh, ibuprofen for uh, anti-inflammatory, Tylenol for fever breaking, and aspirin is just a general painkiller. And uh, I've got it in a small dose as well. This too just folds up in a waterproof case and locks it down. And then there you go. This thing carries um, 10 different medications. Pretty cool. You're going to want to carry about 100 foot of uh, paracord or nylon rope. And a couple carabinas would be nice, maybe three. Um, so you can hang up your food bag when you're camping and emergency rope is always a good thing to have on hand anyway. Um, the carabiners just make it easier to clip on because you can tie it between two ropes and then clip on a third for the, the, the uh, food to hang up and you can put it up high if you want. All right, I'm a big fan of this multi-spice kit. Uh, it has paprika, curry, cayenne, garlic salt, pe black pepper, and salt. So pretty much everything that you could ever want all in one shaker. Uh, this is a good thing to carry, keep your meals interesting. Almost part of the med kit, but not really. Um, this is just a good pick-me-up. So if you start getting cold like uh, symptoms or whatever, you can take and take one of these. Um, I will take these if I'm just not feeling good. I mean, if you're having a really rough day, you drank too much the previous night or something, and you need a good pick-me-up. This has got a ton of B12 in it and all kinds of stuff that will give you energy. I highly recommend carrying a Bic lighter or carry two for redundancy. Now, I will tell you how good a Bic lighter is quality-wise. I literally, when I was a kid, dug one of these out of a frozen lake uh, that was in the ice, dug it out, and I flicked it for a while, and believe it or not, it started working again. Everyone should carry these just for a case of emergency, but these are storm-proof matches. They're windproof and waterproof, um, and if, they, if your Bic lighter fails, then you got something to light a fire with. Something that goes overlooked. Gotta take care of your lips, guys. So having some moisturizer, this is two-in-one, this has SPF 15 in it, eight hours of moisturizer. Keep your lips from getting sunburned and also from drying out just from the hike and possible dehydration. Other things I like to carry, good old baby powder. Just get yourself a travel size. Why baby powder? Well, if you've ever had uh, any kind of rashes, um, you know, on your thighs or anything, eh, you know why. Yeah, they got those Katie patches and stuff like that, but hey, why not just use the original thing that kept, uh, you know, America's soldiers working in the, the Middle East? I am a sucker for a multi thing this is two in one shampoo and conditioner little travel size deodorant very simple thing to overlook just get yourself a little bit of dish soap um these are a little silicone containers that they sell at walmart and they're squishy and uh, they got a nice nozzle on it if you can't find a happy medium between a uh like a camel pack or whatever where you have the bladder that goes in your bag um and having a water bottle that you have to reach around and get take and grab one of these from source tackle gear i'll link it in the description but what it does is it'll basically take a standard water bottle. This one fits my backpack pretty well. This is a Bubba and it's a uh, 24 ounce. This pack comes with a bunch of hoses and adapters. And then you're gonna use this to adapt it down to the size. 
And then you take and grab this hose. This is the insert hose. You just slide that down your bottle like so. Screw that on nice and tight. Because now you have a hose on here if you want to just take a quick disconnect and take a drink right off this, I believe. Or you hook it up to the full hose. That just pops in there with a couple of rings, nice and tight, and then it wraps around. This is your drinking end. You could pull this off if you want to clean it or whatever, pop it back in. And it took me a minute to figure this out because uh, I'm a little bit slow. I thought it was just a bite line, but it's not a bite line. That's why there's teeth marks in it. So uh, you can tell that's rubbery. So the way this works, see how there's a little uh, dot right there? All you do is screw it off of the dot, misalign it, and that pulls out. And then you just suck on that, just like a regular sports drink bottle. From a company called Hi Lucky, that's H-I-L-U-C-K-E-Y, uh, I found on Amazon. This is a solar um, charger. So um, this is a 25,000 milliamp charger. It does have um, a three amp fast charger. And the one thing that I like about this is when you open this little USB slot, you've got two standard outs, uh, standard USBs, and then you got a USB um, that mini, whatever that is, USB-C. And that's also where you can optionally charge it, um, plugging the supplied cable in. They don't give you a power brick, as, as everybody else does these days. So you'll need to get one of those if you're going to charge it that way. Uh, it does have a little flashlight on it. If you hold it down for, I think, five seconds, it comes on. It's not a very bright light, but in a pinch, it's not bad. You turn it off, also five seconds. Uh, here is the charge uh, meter. And it looks like it has a solar meter when it's charging off the sun. Uh, to turn on the battery pack to use it to charge your devices, you just simply press this twice. Or actually, you just press it once, sorry. And twice to turn it off, I think, is what it is. There we go. Um, this little guy uh, pops open here. It's got a little clip, or a button, I mean. And then, as you can see, you got nice four solar panels to charge, not just one. And I believe... And I see that little thing right there. That's telling you that you are now getting power off the sun. I am not in direct sunlight either, guys. Um, the sun is kind of down over that way. There are a nice basic stainless steel cup. And look at this. It's got a uh, carabiner with a thread on it. So you can lock it down into your bag. All right. This one might seem kind of silly or not, but uh, it's a 12 uh, liter folding bucket. It just unfolds. And then you have a nice waterproof bucket that you can haul water in. You just dump that in a stream or whatever and then you got water you can tote back to camp. I thought that was kind of cool. So I can haul a lot of water on my back and then clean up my uh, space as I go. This is a collapsible water jug and it's got a couple handy little hooks here. Like that and then this opens up and if you want you can stick your straw in there Drink right from the uh, canister if you want. It's one of those ones that, uh, you know, try to keep you drinking water, which is uh, a little bit excessive, I think, to drink one of these in a day, but whatever. Not too much to do with this one. Uh, it's pretty simple, straightforward. This is just a uh, head net. Um, this is just for to keep the bugs off you when it's your mosquito season, because if you get in some thick areas and cold climates, you get black flies up in uh, northern Michigan, and you get mosquitoes and flies, and down south you get sweat bees. So it's kind of a good idea to keep one of these on your uh, person. I thought this was cool. I, I only want to carry one flashlight and I wanted a lantern, lantern to kind of, uh, you know, keep around the camp or whatever. The cool thing is, is it's got a little screw on there and a little screw thread on there so you can hook it up. That's also the, the magnet base as well. You screw that in like so. And this is the part that I'm really excited about. It's a tripod. Now, a lot of people will be like, well, what do you need a tripod for in the woods? Well, because nothing's level in the woods and you might be on leaves or something, right? And so it's got a flash of light on top. It's real bright. Um, then there's your little camp light. It's pretty bright. There's your emergency flashing. It's got a little uh, thing to hang it on in the inside of your tent too on the top. Got a hook on there or a carabiner or whatever. All right, from uh, iClimb. Those two go in there and that goes these two go in the holes and then it's got a little lip on the edge too which is kind of nice and put the other side on real quick showed a little kid standing on this too so it supports a lot of weight 
I mean, you can put a lot of stuff on here, you know, get your coffee cup, your stove. I could probably even set my camp light up on here. The answer, I would say yes. Uh, you can put the legs right here to support the stove so it doesn't fall around. And, uh, you know, it looks like you got a little bit of room. Yep, still get a pot on there and everything. If you wanted to put the flashlight there, you could. Something else you might want to consider, too, and this is kind of a vanity thing, I guess, but earplugs. Uh, they are great for me um, because birds wake me up in the morning. This might seem trivial to you, but this is an eye mask. I'm a little bit sensitive to light. It wakes me up. I don't want to get up at 4.30 in the morning every morning. Bag that it comes with, so let's try folding that in. Nice and snug. And comes with a mini carabiner. All right, some more gear. So what do we got here? Uh, I bought some fire starter. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with this stuff, this is little, um, little bricks you break off that's made out of paraffin wax and um, sawdust. So it'll burn a long time and all the time, uh, even when it's wet. So that's a must have. Random thing, a long spoon. What is a long spoon for? Well, for one, you know, maybe stir in the pot. But for two, when you're eating those like dehydrated bags, that's so you can get down in there and well, chow down without getting your fingers all dirty and nasty. So uh, get yourself a, a metal long spoon. That's a good one to have. Uh, it's a camping mess kit, as you can see. This is from Smoky Camp. The reason why I like this one is it comes in a nice mesh bag, so it dries out easy. It all fits and said mesh bag, which is nice. So what do you get in this kit? Well, you get a nice little pot that folds in there. And I like these handles, how these come out like that. So you got some nice handles to use. Nice plastic orange. What do they give you? They give you a survival whistle. It sounds like a train whistle. A little wooden spoon for cooking. A little kind of coral sponge, which I'm not going to use. I'm going to use um, these dollar store sponges. Frank's back again. Um, you can get these at the dollar store, Dollar Tree. These are our favorite sponges. We cook with these or clean with these at our house. It comes with a plastic soup ladle. So you can ladle stuff out or I suppose you could eat off this too if you're eating soup. It just kind of pops in like that, folds in around. Cool. And it comes with, I'm guessing these are two bowls for cooking and or eating out of, you know? I don't know. One of the weird things, it comes with a multi-tool. It has like a bottle opener and can opener and measurements and some screw um, screwdriver heads. Probably will never use that, but it comes with it. And then it comes with a little spoon. Uh, this spoon just folds out like so. I just saw a video of somebody saying, oh, this spoon sucks because every time you go to use it, it does that. Well, there's like a metal thing. The guy just was silly and he didn't um, lock this down because that, that goes down like that. And then now you can, you know, have force with it. Kind of cool little folding spoon. And then lastly, just a little fry pan. So pretty cool. And that all fits pretty conveniently in there. This doesn't like snap together or anything. The the bag, you just pull it tight and the bag holds it together. Then it's got a little uh, little tightener thing. So it's a nice little kit. I like that. That's from Amazon. I'll put that also in the description. I bought, and I'll link you, one of these things. This is just a little accordion thing that folds out and it just clips together like that, evidently. Little metal shelter. And it'll also help reflect heat back in, I guess, too. So there's that as well. I picked up at Walmart from Ozark Trail a folding saw. And it's got a nice little locking mechanism. You just push it and it unlocks. And locks in place. And now you've got a really sharp, durable saw. I like it. It's a little bit heavier than, you know, maybe ultralights want to carry. But, like, man, I like this. It's very strong and it locks. And it just goes right back in its handle and locks in place again. So I'm really happy with this. I got a basic can opener. I decided to go with the, the Ketadin, Ketadin, whatever, bee-free water filtration system. Basically, all you're doing to use this guy 
is you're just filling up the bladder. You just open it up, fill it up, and then this thing will uh, run gravity fed, uh, which is kind of nice. I don't know if I talked about this yet or not, but this is a camp stove. This will run both on propane and isobutane, propane, whatever it is, little fuel canisters. And these little arms just fold out like so. And you got a nice big cooking surface. And then the, the important thing that I like is it's got a shield on the flame, so it should work pretty good. And then here's your little, your hookup. And it's got a little fuel adjust right here. You turn it up and down. And if you need to adapt it to propane, you got that as well. This also has a, uh, however you say it, piazzo, piezo, whatever, lighter. You just click it and you get a little spark. All right, from Scouts a long time ago, just uh, got a nice plastic Coleman shovel. Everybody's got all these metal ones. I've got this one from Gander Mountain when they had a store around us. Um, and it is a Collins. It's plastic, but it's super strong. I've used it for many years. I like it. Uh, one of the things that I'm pretty happy about is I found a pillow that I really like. It comes in a little bag and it's by a company called Outright. The one thing that I really like about this guy is look at this. They give you a little bag of something, some sort of seeds. It smells really good. And you just pull it out. And this is a foam filled, so you can just kind of shake it. And it's nice. It's called a, a bamboo pillow. Maybe that's supposed to be bamboo. I don't know what this is, but this smells really good. I think that's bamboo scent. I was looking at a lot of different pillows and I wasn't too happy with the inflatable ones. And yeah, they have the inflatable ones that have a little bit of foam fill, but this is like a much firmer pillow. Like, I'm gonna appreciate this more because I can lay on it and I can fold it over if I need to to prop my head up. Um, so I got wide shoulders and I really need to keep my head propped up when I'm sleeping. But I like this little, oh man, that smells so good. I'm gonna go stick that in there and you have a nice little, uh, nice smelling pillow, you know, when you go camping, that's pretty cool. How easy does it go back in the bag? Well, this one's kind of a toughie. It is memory foam, so you gotta kind of squish it in relatively easily. I don't wanna have too many things to break down. I've got some nice ski pants um, that has some vents that breathe. Um, these ski pants are from a company called uh, Free Soldier, Free Soldier Tactical Gear. I like these a lot. Uh, I use these for skiing. They're a little bit thick and they're waterproof and they're a little bit insulated with just a little bit of polar fleece on the inside. So those are pretty warm. That and that. I've got a regular t-shirt, sweatshirt, or exercise shirt or whatever that's moisture wicking. On this guy at Walmart, guys, that's the place to shop is Walmart. You know how much I paid for this? Four dollars on clearance. You can't beat that, uh, and it's all you need. You don't need anything fancy. I do have a fancier long sleeve shirt um, from uh, Pelagic. It's like a high performance shirt that I bought when I was down in Texas, and it's got your pits have a spot uh, where it's mesh, so you can breathe a little bit. So if you're wearing this during the day under a jacket. Um, your pits shouldn't sweat, hopefully. A couple pairs of gloves. I've got some real heavy gloves. I do have a pair of Hardy gloves that um, are from Harbor Freight, and they're like mechanic gloves that have the rubber on them, but they're 3M, uh, 3M slated, so they're real warm and they're good for cold weather. They're a little bit lighter than these are. I might bring those instead of these. And then I got some shorts, some exercising shorts. Again, if it gets hot or something I could switch into these some people say to bring camp shoes yeah it'd be kind of nice but uh I don't know we'll see if I do bring camp shoes like I might bring a pair of slippers like I'm wearing right now just something light just depends on how heavy my pack is and then one jacket that I bought recently that I absolutely love is this guy from Carhartt this is a Carhartt relax fit rain defender um, this thing fits me beautifully. It's got an inside pouch pocket. It's got a, um, a zipper pocket on the breast. It's got an arm pocket with a zipper. Um, it's got a pen pocket on the front on the other breast. And the side pockets zip up as well. I was wearing this today. It was super high winds and snowing i mean it was like really high winds like it was blowing off my beanie hat almost high winds like 50 60 mile an hour winds it was ridiculous and ice cold like high 20s 
you know, maybe 30 at the highest. And this kept me pretty warm with just this hoodie. Um, so I highly recommend this. Waterproof, so it'll keep you dry. You know, pretty awesome jacket, I think. I got a lot of snacks. Again, Walmart, just got a big pound of trail mix. I got some beef jerky. And I got some dry roasted peanuts as well. The tent I'm gonna use is an Ozark Trail because you know, I'm a Walmart guy. Uh, this is a two person tent, but honestly, this is more like a one person and your gear tent. Um, really doesn't sleep too that comfortably. It says it's four season, but like, yeah, I don't know about that, man. Like the entire top of this thing is all open mesh, right? And then you gotta fly. I wouldn't call that four seasons in my opinion, but whatever. Um, it does have two doors and two covered vestibules for gear storage, so I can keep your gear outside too. Weighs less than seven pounds. It's not bad. I mean, you know, yeah, you can get tents that are like five pounds, three pounds, whatever, but this is a little bit more of a comfortable tent. Here's the fuel I'm gonna use. Uh, Sterno makes one. Uh, this is cheaper at Walmart, so I'm gonna use that for my fuel. And then, um, you can go and buy dude wipes if you're cool, but guess what, man? Just buy like the cheapest baby wipes you can. These are great for in between showers. You really don't need a shower. Just wipe, you know, everything that gets sweaty and dirty and you can stay relatively clean with just baby wipes. You really don't need a shower. All right, today is the big day. We're gonna start packing. Um, so I need to pack the things that I think that I'll use lastly. So I'm putting my first aid kit at the bottom. That might be a stupid idea. You can yell at me in the comments if you think so. Maybe that should be readily accessible. I don't know. Um, my multi spice for cooking. Saw. Stove down there. Trowel. Fuel. One pack of baby wipes, aka wet wipes. Personal hygiene products. I got a nice little case for her. All right, I got a laundry bag that just is really cool. I like this a lot. It zips into itself and it just opens up. This is for dirty laundry, but I'm going to use it for clean clothes. And then I can't talk about these enough. These were expensive, um, but these are Packers socks. These are alpaca wool socks. And they're supposed to be better than sheep wool. Um, look it up. You know, I'm not gonna do a whole lot. They're not like sponsoring me or anything. Some slippers, camp slippers or camp shoes. All right, I got the water filtration system. Let me uh, open this out of the box. Wow, that's just a big, huge bag of fire starters. Um, all right, um, I'm only bringing uh, like, Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, like 14 of these. I'm not gonna need it for this time of year, but I'm bringing it anyway. My head net, 100 foot of rope. Um, I'll put this in here. This is the wind screen for the stove. My extra long spoon. My backup water filtration, my life straw. I'm gonna take this out of the package. My sleeping eye mask, my folding chair, my cot. So the, um, the bear bag I got was too big. I'm gonna use the bucket instead and hang it with that. So all my food will go in there. Family size, two pounds of trail milk. Value pack, 10 ounces of jerky. I made two sandwiches, one salami and one peanut butter and jelly. And if you save the containers, um, the reusable that uh, Lunch Beat comes in, we save these all the time. And hey, why buy them, right? Boom. And there are, a lot of these are microwave um, safe and top dishwasher safe, so that's kind of cool. All right, so there's my food bag, pretty filled up. Things I want. Readily accessible. I have a, a length of rope in here as well. I have my pocket knife. I'm bringing my emergencies in here because they're small. Two lighters for redundancy. I'm keeping one lighter in here. Car keys. I got headphones for when I'm hiking. I got chapstick. This flashlight, or I should say lantern light. I mean, look how small it is. It's like it fits inside of my hand. The cool thing about this too is it's also a battery bank, so you can charge your devices on it. Just the flashlight, I think, is gonna go in my quick carry. Oh, the other thing that's going in my quick carry is my medicine and prescriptions. All right, important things. Uh, my mat, my uh, park permit. That's all going in there. My wallet will also go in there. So the other lighter, my earplugs, my dish soap. Uh, this guy's filled up. Kind of cool, kind of spongy, but it's got a nice lock on it, so hopefully this doesn't leak everywhere. Put this on the bottom-ish. All 
right? I don't like to have to choose. I kind of wanted both. But at least it'll hold my hydration line, I guess. So it just kind of clips on your chest like that. And you have easy access to water when you're hiking. Like so. I'll put that on the top. Starting to look kind of professional here. I'm gonna pass on the windscreen. What I put in there wasn't a windscreen, that was the table. Also in my quick sec will be my extra battery. 42 pounds plus my sleeping bag. Weighs 5.7 pounds. So this pack out is, uh, it's eight, nine and four. It's 47.7 pounds. Under a 50 pound pack, that's what I was aiming for. That's what I got. Gonna make it, come on, gonna make it.